and welcome everybody here in twitch chat and everybody on youtube for some catastrophe to kick off our meme tier monday stream today even though you know maybe watching this on tuesday um, over uh, on youtube but we have a fun one we up, uh, updated the catastrophe deck one of my favorite decks to play um, as you can tell it is just filled with ones and twos of like it's just so many one ofs everywhere and so many two ofs it makes the deck um you know like all the games are different <laughs> and so it's, it's really fun to play you kind of have the right tool for the situation no matter what situation you find yourself in you have you have the card you need somewhere in the deck and hopefully you have it in your hand so of course we are built around the reason why we're doing this we're built around pursuit of per perfection if you've played 20 cards with different names this game then you get to summon a catastrophe one mana 30 30 overwhelm <laughs> oh that is just awesome look at that kitty cat in there um i have moved it down we did play two pursuit of perfections before i have moved it down to just the one because you know we'll be able to find it you never we don't really need a second one you know the first one should have finished the job but the five mana slot was already super filled, as you can see, like all these good five mana cards. And now we added in Vi and Sub Percival to automatic add in five mana cards. And so I just had to trim somewhere. And so we trimmed one Pursuit of Perfection. Plus our deck's all about back alley barkeep. We got three back alley barkeeps. That's our only three of in the whole deck. We have the Chronicler of Ruins that can kill them and bring them back. We got like Miscall that can bring it back. So like if we were going to be back alley barkeeping, um, anyway, you know, we can, uh, we'll create random cards. And so we can create a Pursuit of Perfection that way also. Um, yeah, it's they who endure with extra steps, basically. All right. So this will be a fun, fun deck to kick the stream off with today. Ooh, what are these? Let's see. We need to go to the lab. Definitely need to go to the lab. We're, this is... A PNZ deck. Uh, I guess we'll have. We can have uh, some old sh Shadow Isles for some sleeves. We are going to be making a catastrophe. Rank 113 at the beginning of the day. Hopefully, we don't go too low today. But yeah, it's meme tier day. Oh man, how could we lose this? We have five champions and they have none. Look at look at how just lopsided this is. I don't I don't really see any way that they could win this game. <laughs> we got five champions. See, this is why we have one Warden's Prey in the deck. Sometimes you just want to play a one drop. That's why we got one in there. Everything's in place. I wanna go home. Damn it. That fight. Sweet. It's a good two drop. Oh no, Crimson Disciple. Alright, I'm still attacking. So I take two. Like, we both take two. Now Crimson Disciple's a 2-2. Two, two. So my Elise trades with this Crimson Disciple very well. Ooh, the Thorny Toad Chronicler of Ruin combo. Bet y'all weren't expecting that. Bet y'all weren't expecting that. That's good deck building right there. <laughs> Beats us are gonna totally ruin him. Yeah, the deck just built itself. Fuse is lit. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, good. I was thinking, I hope we don't, you know, hope we don't, uh, what's it called? Toss? I hope we don't toss the Pursuit of Perfection. That'd be bad. Double Withering Whale, gain a little life. This is pretty awesome. Mystic Shot. So do I cast Withering Whale even though I only gain one, ugh, I actually, I actually take one damage for playing Withering Whale. <laughs> so maybe not. Got three cards. Ooh. Could go Vengeance, kill Crimson Disciple. What's seven mana? Barrier. We probably don't have 13 points of burn, do they? Probably don't have 13 points of burn. I know Withering Will gains three, so we would take one damage. Because we'd. Or, yeah, because we'd take four, gain three. Definitely have Noxion Fervor. I really hope they don't. Progress waits for no one. That turn worked out really poorly for me. No one's the wiser. Worked out quite poorly. Just gonna put this here. So I shoot, so I'm going to what, six? All right. Yeah. But still, good news, you know, like we're at six and, you know, they're 
in top tech mode. And I got a withering whale. Sweet opponent surrendered. Last couple of turns were pretty slow, but I know getting there. Look at that catastrophe. <laughs> Top hundo with on meme tier Monday. This deck is sweet. So we have have the answer for any situation. That warden's prey. I mean, that warden's prey like won us that game, right? Like it it got to it was our our only one drop. It blocked on turn one. How do I not have a thermogenic beam in here? Oh, I do have thermogenic beams. Okay, they're down there. Let's look at the deck list. Yeah, blocked on turn one and made that thorny toad. I just, I love this, like, army that we bring along to the table. Okay. Uh, we'll mulligan our nine drop. We mulligan sub -Percible also, even though sub -Percible could be pretty good. Don't really need this. Keep Chronicler, I guess. Ugh, kinda wish I would've mulliganed Chronicler. Yeah, top 100, let's go. Alright, let's draw something to do before turn 4, please. Glad we drew the barkeep, so we have the barkeep chronicler combo. But obviously, I want to do something before that. I, mean, I guess I'll have withering whale. I don't really know what withering whale is doing for us. Not looking like we're gonna have something to do before that. I'd also take a mist call. When I really might have missed call. We each hold a world within. Yep. Yep, test is correct there. Thanks, test. So yeah, DVG, that's how that's the tiers. Iron, then bronze, then silver, then gold, then plat, then diamond, then master's rank. and each one has four subdivisions. You have like bronze four, then bronze three, then bronze two. It takes a while to rank up. I really hope the whole match isn't this slow. Like, what are we doing here? Come on. That's ridiculous. Like, take forever, attack. Take forever. You only have one catastrophe because, um, I mean, you only need the one whenever you play it, but it's, you know, it's a five mana card and there are so many good five mana cards. Too early, too early in the morning for this. Thank you for doing something. Really, thermogenic beam? Now you show up. Put a spring in your step and stars in your eyes. Could have showed up earlier. Hmm. 
Can wait until next turn to have Heimerdinger plus Thermogenic Beam. And make a 3-1. Yeah, not playing anything on turn one, two, three. Certainly hurts. Oh, another back alley barkeep. I'll play this one first. Okay, okay, we can work with these. We can work with this. No, you shouldn't. Get out of here, Lux. Got to do this now before they have deny and before they start doing other cool stuff with Lux. Obviously, I wanted to, like, Static Shock or Withering Whale or something like that to kill the Grizzled Ranger. Mm, that hurts. So if I block it the first time, then they get to do one extra damage to me, because then they attack with the Eye of the Dragon. So blocking it the second time, they don't get to uh, do that. Discarding Static Shock and and the barkeep's gonna draw a lot of cards. I just can't discard Sub Percival, can I? I just can't. Is that five? It's about to be six, seven. I can't discard this. Can't discard that. I guess it, maybe it's the Dark Water Scourge or the Withering Whale. Probably the Dark Water Scourge. The answer is here. Somewhere. Oh! One more mana. Just one yeah, I was going to say that that was a mistake by me. I should have cast the Thermogenic Beam, not the Wrench Bot. To make another one one. Alright, seven. I take my entire turn and play Withering Will and Gotcha. Try to kill the badger bear. Or I just take the damage to try to ruination. Next turn we're looking at nine mana. Like rekindler plus mystic shot next turn. Or barkeep so percival. Only we we both started at you know like I don't know hundred life. I guess Karma Lux would maybe beat us, but okay, I like that, I like that. So we can so 
So we're going to go Elise, Mystic Shot, and Heimerdinger. Mystic Shot's just not killing anything. I could... Actually, it's probably gotcha. I'll kill the 4-3. I could do, like, Mystic Shot and Thermogenic Beam and make two... Two two ones for extra blockers. I guess I still have, I guess I'm just gonna have to be playing Withering Whale. Which I was probably gonna be priced into playing anyway. Yeah, like I was gonna be playing that anyway. Static Sting, why do you do that? It says, incoming another health pot. So then my opponent has it. Y'all know that whenever you say that, the opponent al always gets that card. You can't help out my opponents. I'm playing a meme tier deck. They're playing, you know, tier one Karma Lux. Can't help them out. You gave it to him. If they don't have Karma or Lux, we could still win this game. You know, Barkeep's going to be drawing me three cards, so Purse will draw me a card, and being a 5 5 elusive, we're going to hopefully find some answers. See, I, like, I can block that thing. Rekindler brings back Heimerdinger. Game's not over. It's just... Justice will be served. We can't handle my opponent having very much. Two of those things is difficult. Alright, so Sap Magic doesn't actually do anything. Because for some reason it doesn't it doesn't heal the Nexus. I fight with my spirits, not my fists. As far as um, getting the 30-30 Overwhelm, we're at 13 out of 20 if we find Pursuit of Perfection. Yeah, theirs are tough. I just want to gain this life. Yeah, they have Will of Ionia. Pretty likely. Heart and mind as one. Okay, Karma. Karma ends this game. There's 
nothing to fear. If they had the answers when they need it, you know, Grizzled Ranger got them super far ahead than that, that single combat. Her and then obviously the deny for the ruination. They've had the answers when they've needed them. It's just this just doesn't do it doesn't actually do anything. Okay, we're one and one. That's no way. GG's. Also, not playing anything turn one, two, or three really put me behind. And that, that was, you know, we just never caught up. You know, mulliganed three cards, and you know, just everything was expensive. Didn't get to play anything early. All right, we're one on one. All right, Demacia. Keep miss call. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Is this, have you seen the secret deck Riot has when you try to import a deck with nothing saved? No, I don't. I don't know what that means. All right, got our warden spray. So this is um, okay. Good luck, Calvis Calvis story. Smell that? A bite to cook it. So this we actually have like, you know, things to do before turn four. So that's a lot better. And if I if I play like Mystic Shot this turn and save three mana, I could have Barkeep plus Miscall. Head to the base, eat up, friend. I wanna go home. <laughs> yeah, Curse Keeper. Like the thorny toad we got last time better. The reason why we're playing that card instead of Hapless Aristocrat is Hapless Aristocrat just makes a 1 1 spider. I'd rather create the card because of Pursuit of Perfection, right? Like we're trying to just get as many different cards as possible. Hmm. All right, well, I guess I don't get to live the barkeep miscall dream. Because of Grizzled Ranger. Pretty likely that there's a Bannerman here. And 
and against Bannerman. I want to make a 5-5. Five five. Yeah, we beat Burn. And then we lost to Karma Lux. Against Karma Lux. Uh, even after mulliganing, I, I couldn't find any card to play before turn four. We got too far behind. Okay, not Bannerman. I've got your back. Well, I wish I would have played Thresh, and then in response to the Warships, I would have thermogenic beamed that thing. But that's okay. Keep them from attacking. Like, yeah, they're only attacking with just that thing. At this point of the game, that's pretty good. What delightful agony we shall inflict. A symbol will ah, fight. there's the Bannerman. Darn. Now my thermogenic beam doesn't kill that thing. It's just not worth it to play it at one mana, I don't think. What do I do? I do like one damage to war chefs? In a long path to get you. One and two. Yeah, he had great hand there, Gavistory. Great hand. GG's. Hey, Reaper. Okay, Static says, when you try to import a deck code nothing copied, then Riot gives you an error and gives you an example of a code to put in. So if you take the time to type out all the letters in the example code, then you get a secret deck. Quote, unquote, secret deck. Okay. I didn't even think about that at all. Ash Vi. I'm gonna mulligan the chump wump because we have a lot of other fours. So I'm just gonna send it back. And we'll save the thermogenic beam. Don't need to use it on Omen Hawk. Fight or die. Ruthless Arata. Let's use this on Ruthless Raider. Hey, say Ma. Yep, good in the early stream today. Doing the early stream a couple of days a week. Um, definitely Friday I'm going to be doing another early stream. Yeah, that Starlet Seer was more valuable than my Callista. 4-4. Four, four. Ugh. Ah, oh, I don't have a Hey, perfect for you. Just finished working. Nice. There we go. Uh, 
All right, seven mana. So Withering Whale is going to be taking out the Omen Hawk eventually. Cool. Makes Withering Whale better. That's good. Now that's the problem, isn't it? I'm at 8 mana. I want to go Static Shock plus Gotcha to level to have Vi go up twice. Um, That's not cool. It <laughs> gives you a deck with Teemo, Poros, and Elnux. <laughs> not bad. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Come on, play a unit first. Darn. So like I take 14 and go down to three. And then Ruination. Or I try Grasp, Chump Wump. Still go to six. No, five. Depending on how they can f how they can follow this up. I will unite the In a lot of trouble. Up there in the mountains. Show me a target. Things just kept going wrong. I feel like maybe if I like like playing that gotcha when I like the thing about yeah, playing the gotcha when I did. Wish I would have just tried to let damage go through. Maybe they don't frostbite. Like maybe it's just their plan the entire time to frostbite, but then I wouldn't have had to just play the gotcha on that thing. They did just use the frostbite, I could have used the gotcha elsewhere.
And they still had a ton of gas. I don't think if I would have just taken 14 and gone down to 3 and then Ruination, though, I would have really stayed alive. I think I'll keep... Like, Heimerdinger is the only one I'm considering. These cards are definitely gone. Um, I think I'll keep Heimerdinger. <laughs> Can't wait for that 10,000 points there, Reaper. You'll get there. The rot must be cut away. Are they going to just have the toss thing? Sap magic? I realized that by not attacking them both right away, they could just have, like, sap magic. That would have been a bummer. Imminently logical. But it would have been imminently logical. Yeah, so if you miss early stream. to one mana. So that's number four. Number five. It smells like opportunity. Sharing is caring. <laughs> cool. I'll take that. Peer into the darkness. Get out of here, Nautilus. What you doing? What you doing? All right, that's number six. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have like donation deck day tomorrow. I got three donation decks now. With Same Law getting redeeming that donation deck. Thank you, Same Law. Oh, it's a perfect deck for today. Hmm. I'd have to take out I'd have to take out one of the other decks from the schedule. To play it. We'll see I'll see after this, you know, after we finish this up here, I'll I'll do the copy paste, see what you see what we're doing. See what you got.
I'm going to thermogenic beam this. Actually, yeah, okay, yeah. So we're going to thermogenic beam that. Um, but I want to spend my other mana. And I don't think we really need Warden's Prey, so we can rummage that away. It's just like, what else would we want to rummage away? And I think it's just the Salvage? No, it's actually probably the Thrash. Actually, probably supposed to be the, the thrash. Back alley barkeep, no. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Check out the goods on this one. That'll work if that hits. Seven, six, five, two. Percival's the best. <laughs> no, my sub Percival. Seems kind of silly getting rid of Ruination. Let's get rid of Vile Feast. Five five elusive is just so big. All right, so that's going to get rid of my subpersible. Fine, subpersible's gone. So they have 14 cards left. Start giving them some mushroom clouds on a bunch of cards so they don't have very many cards left. We'll wait a little bit to do that. Just a little bit. Wait just a little bit. Nah. Well, I'm going to play the chump bump right now. It's like if they do want to attack with the devourer, I don't have to block with Vi. And sure, we'll give him five. Draw some of those. Go ahead. All right, take one. Yeah, that thing's pretty big. Yeah, that thing's pretty big. So many years, so much misery.
No. Okay, so they're at 10 now. Come on, Puff Caps. Do your thing. 13 cards, 19 Puff Caps. There we go. Puff Caps doing their thing. Alright, so that will toss. If if the bottom cards do have Puff Caps, those will toss them. Hopefully not. Hopefully there's still a lot of Puff Caps. But yeah, keep drawing them. Alright, drew two more. What do we got? We got 10 left for 8 cards. There goes those three. We still have seven left for five cards. Not bad. Not bad. I think does have lifelink, which I'm not a big fan of right now. I'm at 14 cards left. Kind of want a ruination. Keep them from gaining life. That seems silly. Shark Chariot. <laughs> That's not a good card right now. Okay, so it's supposed to toss three, and they only toss two, so that means they have only champions left in their deck. Three cards, four puff caps. I'm going to discard... Discard. Oh, we're so close! Okay, we're so close. Nineteen out of twenty. Come on. Let's go. They, did, they didn't even gain life. So we know they only have champions left. Right? It's like Maokai, Thresh, Nautilus. That's all they got. Okay. I... Yeah, I played a Heimerdinger already. Right, it got Grass the Undying. Okay, so we don't want to play Heimerdinger. So we could go Brood Awakening. And then Pursuit. Don't have enough puff caps left to kill them. There's three puff caps in the four. Yes! Yes! Oh, that's a 12 12? Pretty cute. The problem is, is how many Nautilus do they have? We killed one Nautilus. If they have it, you know, because of Riptide. That's the problem, is Riptide right now. But we're still, I mean, I'm still going for it. Come on, how many, how often do we get a cat catastrophe? Let's go. Not a Riptide. Yes. Yes. The pursuit of perfection. Yes. We have found perfection. Yeah, I'll see you at 13-13 and raise you at 30-30. Oh, that's awesome. I know, they didn't even let the cat attack. Come on, at that point, you just gotta... I mean, after that long game and everything, just let the cat attack. Alright, we got the pursuit of perfection. Master's rank. That's great. So yeah, really, really fun deck here. Definitely still competitive. Sure, we were two, you know, we were two and three. Um, but you know, it is 
Like, they were real competitive games, basically all of them. It did kind of seem like maybe we need the second Ruination back in here. Maybe instead of Thresh. Maybe put second Ruination over Thresh. With Vi kind of replacing Thresh in, for that slot. Um, but it is cool just playing five different champions. Warden's Prey was awesome. Um. <laughs> it's actually just pretty cool. This has so many different tools. And, you know, like whatever whatever you need at any particular time, that's what you get. You really have to focus on finding things to do turns one, two, and three, though. That's kind of the struggle. We have a lot of fours, a lot of fives. You know, four and five are pretty heavy. So fighting these things to do turns one, two, and three. Which, as you can see, just things that cost one through three mana, uh, that's 17. That's almost half the deck, but that was one of our losses. We didn't find anything to do turn one, two, or three, even with mulliganing. And so that's unfortunate. But yeah, there we go. GG's. For Catastrophe. All right, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Of course, leave those comments. If you got ideas that you want me to play next week for Meme Tier Monday, let me know. All right, but that's it here for Catastrophe. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.